In the last video of the Spirulina 101 series, we discussed some of the specific health benefits of spirulina. In this video, I will be discussing the various powerhouse nutrients that can be found in spirulina. If you were with us in the last two videos, you learned spirulina contains over 100 vital nutrients. In fact, it is considered the most nutrient-dense food on the planet, as well as the most complete food. Its nutrient content ranges from essential amino acids, non-essential amino acids, fatty acids, vitamins, enzymes, essential minerals, colloidal minerals, phytonutrients, and antioxidants. In this video, we are going to delve into many of the nutrients found in spirulina so you can better understand how they aid your body in overall health. One of the most remarkable attributes of spirulina is that it is a 60-70% to 70 complete protein and can, is considered one of the best, if not the best, forms of protein in the world. Unlike red meat, which is only 30% complete protein, spirulina is a highly digestible form of protein that contains all the essential amino acids and most of the non-essential amino acids. In fact, it contains 18 of the 22 amino acids. These amino acids are the fundamental building blocks of the body and are leveraged and used in thousands of bodily processes. One of the most prevalent set of other nutrients found in spirulina are phytonutrients. These are naturally occurring chemicals that are found in plants and aid the plant in living and fighting off various threats. Unlike vitamins and minerals, phytonutrients are not essential to your health, but when consumed they can have a very powerful nourishment and healing properties that bring health and vitality to your body. Some of the phytonutrients found in spirulina include phycocannin, which is a rare phytonutrient found in spirulina that has been referred to as the wonder molecule. It has been shown to have a high antioxidant capacity and is a powerful anti-inflammatory. Thus, it eliminates the two major causes of a variety of illnesses and health issues. The second phytonutrient found in spirulina is beta-carotenes. Beta-carotenes is converted into vitamin A when consumed. Like the other phytonutrients, it is shown to be a powerful antioxidant that can prevent free radicals from damaging cell membrane, DNA, and the protein structure of cells. High consumption of beta-carotene has been shown to reduce risk of cancer and cardiovascular disease, and it has also been shown to improve eye health, respiratory health, skin health, and the immune system. The next phytonutrient is the axanthin which is a highly important nutrient that is considered a carotenoid and is often found in leafy green vegetables. This nutrient is shown to, be, to vastly improve overall eye health and help prevent degenerative eye diseases. It is so nourishing to the eyes because it acts as an antioxidant which neutralizes free radicals that cause oxidative stress to the eyes. The final phytonutrient we'll discuss is chlorophyll. Chlorophyll is a naturally occurring molecule that gives plants their green color. The tremendous amount of chlorophyll in spirulina works to alkalize the blood. This is essential for energy because when your body becomes acidic, it removes key nutrients from bones, muscles, and tissues to maintain the delicate alkaline balance, leaving us feeling tired, sluggish, cloudy, and most importantly, prone to illness. Chlorophyll also assists with the production of red blood cells and hemoglobin that nourishes every cell in our body by providing the cells with adequate oxygen. The oxygenation of the blood also leads to improved brain function because the brain's primary energy source is oxygen itself. Chlorophyll has also been shown to help cleanse the blood, thus promoting overall health. The next set of nutrients we'll discuss are fatty acids. Spirulina also contains high contents of essential fatty acids. Essential fatty acids are specific fats that are critical to the proper function of your body. Your body is not able to produce these fatty acids on its own, so it is necessary that you eat a diet rich in these crucial building blocks to maintain a healthy body. The most prevalent fatty acid found in spirulina is omega-6 fatty acid, also referred to as GLA for short. It plays a crucial role in brain health, as well as normal body growth, development, and well-being. It is also used to treat skin conditions, chronic fatigue, rheumatoid arthritis, heart disease, high cholesterol, and other blood fats, ADHD, depression, and even diabetic nerve pain. Next, we'll discuss DNA, RNA, and nucleic acid. DNA and RNA are chemical compounds that are created by the body. When consumed, they are shown to improve memory, mental sharpness, treat or prevent Alzheimer's, improve your mood, treat depression, increase energy, tighten skin, 
increased sex drive, and counteracts the effects of aging. RNA is also taken to help alleviate skin issues such as eczema and psoriasis. But more importantly, DNA and RNA are tremendously beneficial to the health of the cells. They bring the cells back to a state of youthful vigor, which will aid in improving the overall health of your body. Next, we're gonna discuss some of the vitamins found in spirulina. Spirulina contains a whole slew of vitamins, but the most prevalent vitamins found in spirulina are vitamin B12, vitamin A, and vitamin K. Massive amounts of vitamin A can also be found in spirulina due to its high content of beta carotene. Vitamin A is a powerful antioxidant that is important for your immune system. It also keeps skin and mucous membrane cells very healthy. Vitamin A also fights cancer by inhibiting the production of DNA in cancerous cells. It slows down tumor growth in established cancers and keeps leukemia cells from dividing, and it is also very important to the overall health of your skin. Vitamin K is another vitamin that is found in great abundance in spirulina. Vitamin K is found in leafy green vegetables, and it is a vitamin many of us are actually deficient in. It promotes the overall health of our blood and cardiovascular systems, and is shown to prevent cancer, also aiding in the prevention of osteoporosis. And recent research has also revealed that it has nourishing effects on the brain. The final vitamin found in great abundance in spirulina is vitamin B12. Vitamin B12 is needed to convert carbohydrates into glucose. This leads to the production of energy and decrease in fatigue and lethargy within the body. It also helps in healthy regulation of the nervous system, reducing depression, stress, and even brain shrinkage. Vitamin B12 also protects against heart disease by curving and improving unhealthy cholesterol levels, protecting against stroke and high blood pressure. It is essential for healthy skin, hair, and nails, and it helps in cell reproduction and constant renewal of the skin cells. Spirulina also contains a vast array of trace minerals. Just like vitamins, these minerals are something the body absolutely needs in order to function. Some of the minerals found in spirulina include magnesium, manganese, chromium, iron, sodium, potassium, calcium, phosphorus, iodine, zinc, copper, and selenium. I'm not going to go into great detail on the benefits of all these minerals, but I'll give you a quick overview of a few that are found in great abundance in spirulina. For example, ma magnesium is an essential mineral found in spirulina and is important for staying healthy and is required for more than 300 biochemical reactions in the body. It provides you multiple health benefits, including transmission of nerve impulses, body temperature regulation, detoxification, energy production, and the form formation of healthy bones and teeth. Manganese is also found in spirulina and is a powerful antioxidant that works to neutralize free radicals. It is also essential for the normal function of the brain, bone formation, and health. It also helps with the absorption of calcium, proper functioning of the thyroid gland, sex hormones, regulation of blood sugar levels, and metabolisms of fats and carbohydrates. The next mineral is chromium, which is popularly known for helping combat diabetes and obesity. Chromium has also been shown to help build lean muscle mass, increase energy, and curb depression. The last mineral we'll discuss is iron. Iron is an essential nutrient that has many well-known health benefits and is most notably known for curbing fatigue. Its primary function in our body is to assist with the production of hemoglobin and also act as an oxygen carrier, which are essential for the health and the many facets of the body, ranging from brain function to overall blood health. As you have just learned, spirulina contains a multitude of nutrients essential to all facets of the body. The remarkable nutrient profile of a single-celled organism makes it one of the most fascinating and promising food sources or nutritional supplements available on Earth. On top of that, the nutrients found in spirulina are easily digestible and assimilated by the body. If you are interested in trying spirulina as a nutritional supplement, I would highly recommend our current product, Organic Spiruzan. It is derived from the highest quality organic spirulina and also contains another remarkable microalgae, as taxifen. Spiruzan is currently being offered at a 50% discount with the coupon code seen in the video. To redeem this 50% off coupon, please visit Amazon.com. If you'd like to learn more about Organic Spiruzan, 
please visit our site at tryquetcherhealth.com. To take advantage of this offer, please check out the video description below. Thank you for your time.